I'm here with my friend Dan, and also somebody they introduced me to that they, uh, well, I talked to them earlier, but they uh, they, uh, they, knew, they knew each other through the Fediverse. Uh, could you give your name and also what we you're had, working we on here? We actually knew each other through, uh, we actually knew each other through Retro Computing Twitter, and they were the first person from Retro Computing Twitter to follow me to Mastodon. Oh, very nice. Hi, so. my name is Lado, and I'm, I'm excited to show you my, my old things over here. Okay, cool. So what? What? It, let's start off with the um, the thing that's that's different from everything else. What's this thing right here? So this over here is a badge that was manufactured very recently for a SuperCon conference um, over on the West Coast, and it is a conference badge that kind of just hangs over like this. But it's also an emulator of a four-bit CPU that shows you what's all going on on it, and mm -hmm. so. Right now, it is slowed down, so these blinky lights show uh, basically what's going on in the background in order can, to generate a scrolling You can press these cast. buttons to be able to trigger different operations and stuff, That right? is correct, yes. And now I'm going to speed it up a little bit. It's kind of like the Altair and stuff like that, where exactly. like you're, you're able to really able to play with the computer exactly. and understand it at a and low level. And it is a badge that shows you those types of things. Now, when you turn it vertically, now that I've sped it up, it is a scrolling text that you might use as a badge. Now, sure. The reason why I have this with me is we figured out that the same person who designed this in 2022 was the person who designed this beautiful machine called the Galaxia 40 years earlier in Yugoslavia. Oh, okay. I thought that you meant that they were like the person who like open sourced it. No, they were actually the, the person who. Person. Okay. So now I want you to tell me about. So this is your reproduction version of it. Right. And uh, um, the keyboard's a little bit funny because you kind of rushed it, but the um, but otherwise, if this works, I can I can type things on here. I mean, I'm not doing anything interesting, but this is a old school Yugoslavian computer. Is that correct? That is correct. So uh, this was actually the computer that. Oh wait. Mm -hmm. So that is actually the computer that uh, sort of brought computing to the masses uh, in Yugoslavia in the mid '80s. And it was designed specifically so that it would be built by folks at home. They got instructions in a magazine, and this was really aimed at people who would not have ever used computer before. So they published everything sort of in an open source manner before that was a thing. And uh, you would order a PCB from the magazine that would come in basically like this. This was in the 80s, in. you said? Sorry? Is in the 80s, you said? It is in the 80s, yeah, 1984. Okay. So uh, they would they would uh, build it at home, and they would get the EPROMs from the magazine, and they would essentially have a fully functional computer like I have here. So, right so here, Dan actually has one of these. Um, you've been very kind to give Dan one of these things. And so what you would do is you take this, ma this magazine, and you have an English translation of it yeah, here. Yeah, an English translation. Where, um, very nice. Um, and you'd basically follow these instructions to build the whole computer. So it's it's really, in a, you can see how similar this idea is in some ways actually to the Supercon in that they both have this idea of you should really be able to understand the computer and everything about what it's doing, right? Like at every level. Is that, is that about right? That is exactly how I see it. I think it's really beautiful. This is Boya Antonich, the, the person over here. Um, he designed this in 1984. And then 20 years later, he's still sharing and kind of like living that same ethos of sharing the knowledge uh, with, with the folks in a really, really profoundly like beautiful way. Cool. So um, if people want to follow you, um, I guess you've got these cards here. I'm going to hold it up, but why don't you, uh, why don't you, why don't you read, what, how would yeah, they follow so, you, for example, so, on the Fediverse? So on the Fediverse, I'm the M-A-J-S at uh, mastodon.vladovince.com. Uh, which is my own instance, or you can just go to vladovins.com where I've got all my contact information. Okay, great. Thank you so much. This was a real delight. Thank you so much for coming.